this edition. We talk a lot about scapular stabilization and those chronic trigger points right here. You can sort of flip over to tender and sore, and many of our clients have those trigger points. And many of those trigger points lead directly to neck, shoulder pain, and dysfunction. How do we get rid of them? One of the biggest keys to getting rid of trigger points in that upper neck or lower neck and upper back region is to teach the client how to properly stabilize the scapula. The key to proper sta scapular stabilization is to get posterior rotation, which is flattening down of the scapula against the thorax, and then to develop proper upward control and control of downward rotation back to neutral. Once you've done that, then you have to teach the client how to use that proper scapular stabilization to then perform functional movement patterns. So when they go out into their everyday life, they know how to move, lift their arm against resistance without feeding back up into their neck. Because these trigger points come because the client is trying to stabilize up here in the neck versus down here through the thorax. See the difference here? Here, I'm stabilizing with my neck, here with my thorax. So the cue to pull the shoulder blades down and back is to create a faulty stabilization because now I'm stuck back down here. And the more I try to pull or roll or resist, resistance through my arm, the more my tendency is to go this direction. So I need posterior rotation and then slight upward rotation to get that scapula into a better position so my shoulder blade and shoulder can take the stress here and keep it out of my neck. How does that work with a cable pull down? Very simply, when we do a pull down activity, we want to make sure that we can set the scapula appropriately, control from the serratus as we do our pull down. We don't want to see the scapula ride up and over the thoracic cage, we want to see it stay stabilized. So when I pull, I should pull into an open position, not into a closed position. Keep the client pulling into an open position. Pulling from here, stress here, the neck, upper trap should say relatively relaxed. You should feel no tension through the elevator or into the neck. If you feel tension as you're doing the pull down here in the neck, then you know that you're not stabilizing properly through their thorax. So the key, again, is to get the posterior rotation, upper rotation, and maintain that as they do pushing overhead, as they do pulling, or even horizontal pushing and pulling. The more you feel tension in here, the more they're stabilizing from their neck and upper back, they're not using proper mechanics. Do the wall plank to get the proper scapular motion, and then progress to proper motion from here, rather than from up in their neck and upper thorax. Thanks again. This is Dr. Nosor with Fitness Insider. Catch us next time on...